Swimming lesson. Today, Pepper and her friends are having a swimming lesson. They are in the little pool. The children can touch the bottom of the pool with their feet. <laughs> OK, let's start. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Has everyone got a float? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The floats are like spaghetti. Tuck the floats under your arms and swim about. The floats make swimming easy. I love swimming. Yay. I love swimming too. <laughs> Hello. It is Rebecca Rabbit with Mummy Rabbit. Hi, sister. Oh, hi, sister. Sorry we're late. No problem. We've only just started. <laughs> Look at me swim, Mummy. <laughs> that looks like so much fun. I wish I could swim. You can't swim. No, I never learnt. I'm a bit worried about water. Well, sister, I think it's about time you had a swimming lesson. Yes, you can join our lesson. Oh, I'm not sure. It's a children's class and I'm a bit old for lessons. You're never too old to learn something new. Please join us, Mummy. OK, then. I'll just change into a swimming costume. Right, I'm ready. Mummy Rabbit is going to join the children's swimming lesson. Oh, good. It's not deep. Yes, this is the little pool. OK, sister. Pick up a float. Tuck it under your arms. Now lift your feet up. OK. Oh, <laughs> look at me. I'm swimming. Well done, Mummy. Yes, sister. That's brilliant. This is such fun. I've got water on my face! A little splash of water is fine, but I don't like it. I didn't like it before. That's right. Gerald always kept his head high out of the water. But now I can swim with my face in the water. Amazing! But I could never do that. A little splash of water is fine. No, I can't put my head in the water. Gerald, can you show my sister what I taught you? Yes. Put your chin a teeny little bit in the water. Let's all do that. OK. That feels fine. And now we all... Blow bubbles! <laughs> OK. Here goes. <laughs> that was easy. Yes, very good, sister. And now we... Blow bubbles and swim along. Like this. <laughs> I'm doing it! <laughs> You're as good as me now, Mummy. <laughs> and now it's starfish time! Yay, starfish! The children lie on their backs like starfish and float. Very good, Starfish. Do you think I could have a go? Of course. Lie on your back like me. OK. <laughs> Amazing! It works! I'm a Starfish! <laughs> <laughs> well done, sister. And, as we've all done so well today, I'm going to get out the inflatables. Hooray! The inflatables are the best bit. There are lots of inflatables. <laughs> Fruit, a slide, and even an inflatable cheese. This is the biggest cheese in the world. <laughs> Look at me on the slide. <laughs> My goodness, that looks fun. Mummy, come and join us. Can I? Can I really? Of course. We can't let the children have all the fun. <laughs> Do the slide, Mummy. OK, here goes. <laughs> You're brilliant, Mummy! This is so much fun! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit loves swimming lessons. Everyone loves swimming lessons. Water park! Pepper and her family have come to the water park today. Hello, everyone! Miss Rabbit is in charge. These are the changing rooms. Please change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. 
Peppa is wearing her swimming costume. <coughs> and George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> <laughs> this looks amazing. Yes, there's bubbles and slides and all kinds of watery fun. <laughs> this is the Bubble Bay. Pedro Pony is here with his mummy. Hello, Peppa. Let's play in the bubbles. Bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> the bubbles lift you up and tickle you. <laughs> oh, yes. That feels good. <laughs> oh, lovely. Bubbly, wobbly, bouncy bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tipping bucket. Mandy Mouse is here with her mummy. Hello, Peppa. Squeak. Hello, Mandy. You've got to try this. It's brilliant. What do I do? You wait here until the bucket is full. Then what happens? <laughs> Something sounds like fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Mummy. You go next. What do I do? You wait here until... Until what? <laughs> Wet. Although, I suppose that is the point of coming to a water park. Oh, oh, let's do the water slides. Here are the water slides. There's a tiny slide for little children and a really big, ginormous slide for the people who like that kind of thing. Look at me on the slide. <laughs> That's very high. <laughs> Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> George, let's do the tiny slide. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, you have to watch us. OK, we're watching. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> that looks fun. I'm going to have a go. OK. We'll stay here and watch you. Sorry, Daddy Pig. You can't wear glasses on the water slides. Oh. I'll look after them for you. Daddy Pig cannot see very well without his glasses. Oh, dear. These are the steps to the big, ginormous slide. Daddy, we're waiting. Sorry. I have to go slow without my glasses. Daddy's taking a long time to climb up the tiny slide. Hurry up, Daddy! <laughs> These steps are taking forever. Where is Daddy? There he is! Hello, Daddy Pig. I didn't think you liked heights. Eh? Daddy Pig cannot see where he is. What are you doing up there, Daddy Pig? Sorry, what did you say? Daddy Pig cannot hear because he is so high up. Sit back and enjoy the ride. OK. Here goes. Wow, Daddy Pig! You did the big ginormous slide. Oh, oh. You are brilliant! Here are your glasses, Daddy Pig. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. That was actually the best fun ever. Maybe it helped that I couldn't see anything. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves the water park. Everyone loves the water park. <laughs> Danny's pirate bedroom. Pepper is going to Danny Dog's house for the day. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Danny. Pepper, you're just in time to help. We're doing a bedroom makeover for Danny. That sounds like fun. I'll see you later, Pepper. Bye, Daddy. What is a bedroom makeover? It's like on TV, when they make the room look completely different. Ooh. I'm going to have a pirate bedroom. Aha! I've already got a pirate bed. <laughs> wow! And today we're going to decorate the whole bedroom. On the walls, we are going to paint the sea. On the ceiling, there will be stars. When I sleep, it will be like I'm sailing on the sea. <laughs> ah, yes, the sea. 
I remember those days. Free to sail my boat wherever I wanted, under a starry sky, in search of sea monsters. But those days are over. Now I'm back home, and I'll never sail the sea again. Captain Dog misses the sea. Right then, let's get this bedroom makeover started. We'll cover the room with sheets. This will stop everything getting paint on it. And to keep paint off our clothes, we'll put on overalls. <laughs> this dark blue paint is for the sky. It's going to be a night sky. Ooh. Mummy Dog paints the ceiling using a roller with a long, long handle. Can we help? Of course. Here are your brushes. Let's do the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Big waves, just like the real sea. I'll do some storm clouds. Can we put the stars on the ceiling? We certainly can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ceiling's too high. Huh, I can't reach. Let's give you some help. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder. What you are! <laughs> the sky is full of stars. And they look even better when the lights are out. Ooh! The stars are glittery! Danny's pirate bedroom is done. It's just like when they do the makeovers on TV. Um... On TV, the person has to open their eyes and say, What a surprise! But you've already seen it all. <laughs> I can pretend I haven't. Good idea, Danny. Yes, let's make it even better by having you step outside the room. Close your eyes. And let's close the door. Are you ready, Danny? Yes, I'm ready. Keep your eyes closed. I will. <laughs> OK, in you come. No peeking. <laughs> now open your eyes. What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> okay, me hearties. Who is ready to set sail? Me, me. me. Let's climb aboard the ship. <laughs> Where shall we sail to, Captain Danny? Ha ha! Let's look for sea monsters. Sea monsters, you say? That sounds like a grand adventure to me. Yo-ho-ho, yo-ho-ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favourite place to be. Yo-ho-ho, yo-ho-ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favourite place to be. We are sailing on the sea. Yes, what could be better? Sail in the sea and staying at home. This is the best pirate bedroom ever. Aha! <laughs> Danny loves pirate bedrooms. Everyone loves pirate bedrooms. <laughs> Families. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Hiya, mummy! <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with Mummy and Daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Yes, everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Me. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. 
I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing. How about the panda twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please can we do the siren. Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! Oh, all right then. <laughs> Super! And Danny Dog? My daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now daddy has come home to me and mummy. And he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my mummy and my other mummy. One mummy is a doctor and one mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. A rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <laughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <laughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa <laughs> loves families. Everyone loves families. The Big Hill. Today, Peppa and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day. Perfect for walking. <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Peppa. Um, let's go... That way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Peppa? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Peppa and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. <sighs> I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did it! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have the something amazing. <laughs> Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? <coughs> Brilliant! That will keep me going. <gasps> Nearly there, George! It is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there! 
It is Miss Rabbit's Cafe. Amazing. What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK, we've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy, why did they make hills so big? Oh, I don't know, Peppa. I hope <sighs> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone far. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing! <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's roll a bit. Whee! Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you? Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us, Daddy Pig. Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody! <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. <laughs> the Great Barrier Reef. Peppa is on holiday in Australia at Kylie Kangaroo's house. I love it here at your house, Kylie. Yes, I could stay here forever. It's great having you all stay, but I will have to go to work today. What is your job, Mrs Kangaroo? I'm a marine biologist. What's that? I study sea creatures, like these little fish here. Ooh, a fish tank! But the fish I study don't live in a tank, they live in the sea. Do the fishes in the sea have little bridges to swim through and treasure to play with? <laughs> no, Pepper. That's just the sort of stuff people put in fish tanks. Would you all like to come and see where I work? Yes, please. I've been to where my daddy works. There was a telephone, lots of paper and colouring pens. It was a very nice office. I think you'll find my office is pretty fun too. <laughs> <laughs> this is my office. Where? There, Peppa. The sea. I've got the best office in the world. But how can you work in the sea? With this submarine. Wow! Do you want a ride? Yes, please. OK, hop in. <laughs> Wow! It's all the colours of the rainbow! That's coral. Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Pepper. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If ever 
every visitor took a little bit of coral home. Soon, all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah, oh, look, little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there. A big blue starfish. There's a tiny red one. And a spiky green one. What's that? That's a turtle. Ooh. Hello, Mrs. Turtle. How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> Look, a little bridge, just like in your fish tank. Oh, 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 you're right, Peppa. It is quite like the fish tank here, except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins. Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. That gold must be worth a fortune. I think I can get it. But you said we must never take anything away. I meant natural things that belong here. That's right. These gold coins don't belong here, so we need to remove them. Ah. It will all go to a good cause. Yes, it'll pay for lots more marine research. Hooray! That was a good day at the office. We saw coral and fishes and a turtle. This is a great holiday. I don't want it to ever end. <laughs> but you are going to leave sometime, right? Oh, not that you aren't welcome to stay as long as you like, of course. Thank you, Mrs Kangaroo. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. Swimming! Peppa and her family are at the swimming pool. Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. Peppa is wearing her swimming costume. Hurry up, George. Everyone's waiting. George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> Peppa, George, let Daddy put on your armbands. <laughs> 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 There, George. Your armbands make you look very grown up. <laughs> now me. <laughs> Good. Now we can go in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it is George's first time at the swimming pool. Why don't you put just one foot into the water? Maybe you should try the other foot. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. But you don't need to splash quite so much. <laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> Richard, hold on to this float and you can practice kicking your legs. George, would you like to try kicking your legs? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, but try not to splash. Big children don't splash. We're very good at swimming. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us. Won't they, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> oh. Richard has a toy watering can. Stop it, Richard. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Richard has dropped his watering can into the pool. Sorry, Richard. I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. 
Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <sighs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy. Your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Peppa. Don't splash us with water, Daddy. I told you I wouldn't splash. <laughs> <laughs> Clever, Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Camping holiday. Peppa's family are on holiday in their camper van. Good morning, my little piggies. Good, Good morning, morning, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. I love camping. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature program. One of the wonders of nature, birds. How lovely. <coughs> shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. Oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. Uh. Good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. <gasps> There's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Duckland! <laughs> Let's go to Duckland! <laughs> Peppa and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello. Where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. We're going, going to, to Duckland duck in the camper van. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when, when we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> All right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> here come more ducks. All their brothers and sisters are here. <laughs> and here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa Ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. <laughs> ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. <laughs> it is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. 
Drive straight ahead into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes, drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes, it's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. <laughs> Camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. Uh, ahoy there. Beep, beep. Sailing on the river. <laughs> Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. home. <laughs> Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Campervan. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice going on holiday, but it's nicer to be back in our own little house. Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Washing. <laughs> Daddy Pig is doing the washing this morning. <laughs> Daddy, what's that shirt? It's my football shirt. Daddy's playing football this afternoon. Ooh. But first, I have to go to work. See you later. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Poor Daddy. Having to go to work. Oh, poor Daddy. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Yes, let's play. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. George loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mummy, we splashed Daddy's football shirt with mud. Oh. Don't worry. We'll just wash it. <laughs> It'll be washed in no time and Daddy won't know it was ever muddy. <laughs> Let's find some more things to put in the machine. Oh, my dress is a bit muddy. <laughs> Mummy Pig and George have found more things to wash. Very good, George. <laughs> we put the clothes in here and then we switch it on. The washing machine is filling up with hot, soapy water. <laughs> splosh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> The washing machine is making the whole room shake. <laughs> oh, Pepper, where's your dress? I'm washing it. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Look, Mummy, my red dress is all nice and clean. Yes, Pepper, but look what it's done to everything else. Oh, dear. Pepper's red dress has made all the white clothes pink. Pink isn't a very good colour for a football shirt. Ooh! Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig, we've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. <laughs> No, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. What do you think, George? Yuck! George does not like pink. Here are Daddy Pig's friends, Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? He'll just be a moment. My team are in white. 
I need a white shirt. But, Daddy, you have a white shirt. Just take off your jacket. See? Fantastic. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, oh, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! Go! Your shirt all muddy. <laughs> of course, Pepper. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves playing football. Everyone loves playing football, especially when it's muddy. <laughs> canoe trip. Pepper and her family are going on a canoe trip. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can we have a canoe for the day, please? Yes, here you go. You'll need life jackets. <laughs> and paddles for Mummy and Daddy. Thanks. Have a lovely day. I'll call you when it's time to come back. Uh, which way do we go? You can go either way. Let's go that way. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> oh, we're not moving. And it's really hard work. That's because you're paddling against the flow of the river. Try going the other way. OK. Oh, that's much better. It is easier to paddle with the flow of the river. Happy canoeing! Pepper and her family are off on their canoe adventure. Let's pretend this is a jungle river. And we are the first explorers to ever come this way. Will we see wild animals? Oh, yes. All kinds of wild and fierce animals. It's Mrs Duck. <laughs> I wonder what other dangerous creatures are swimming in these waters. Will there be crocodiles? Well, we're not really in the jungle, so I don't think we'll see a crocodile. Ah! Hello there. Here is Mrs Crocodile. Oh, hello. Are you having fun on the river? Yes. <laughs> Me too. I was just out for a swim. Lovely. Bye-bye. Bye. Look at those lovely plants on the riverbank. Yes. Let's stop and do a bit of jungle exploring. I hope we see a lion. Oh, I think it's unlikely we'll see a... <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr Lion. I'm having a picnic. Would you like to be part of it? Uh, I've got lots of lovely fruit and a big bowl of salad. Ooh, my favourite. Yes, salad. What could be a better lunch? Mr Lion likes picnics. Everyone likes picnics. So, you're canoeing down the river. Yes, we're having an adventure. Ha <laughs> ha, fantastic. I think you'll like the next bit of the river. It's very exciting. I like exciting. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Hmm, I wonder what Mr Lion meant when he said the next bit would be exciting. Careful not to hit that rock, Daddy Pig. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. It's only one little rock. See? That was easy. More rocks, Daddy! The river is going faster now. Ah! Hold tight, everybody! Whee! Oh, watch out! <laughs> Survived. That was the best! Again! Again! Yes! Let's go through the exciting bit again! Again! again. Uh, if I can possibly avoid it, I never want to go through that bit of river again. What's that noise? It's time to come back! Oh, we have to take the canoe back. Ah, yes. So we do have to go through that bit again. Ready, Mummy Pig? Ready, steady, go! <laughs> it is very hard work to paddle against the flow of the river. We are going really slowly. Hi again. Do you need a push? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> We're back. 
Amazing! How are you moving against the flow without paddling? Ah! Hi there! Mrs Crocodile! You startled me! Oh, sorry, Miss Rabbit. I was just giving them some help. Yes. Thank you so much, Mrs Crocodile. You're very welcome. That was the best canoe trip in the world Ever. Peppa <laughs> loves canoe trips. <laughs> Everyone loves canoe trips. <laughs> the lifeboat. Today, Captain Dog is taking Danny and Peppa to visit the lifeboat. Ahoy there, young sailors! Ahoy there, Grumpy Rabbit! We were hoping you could tell us all about the lifeboat. Of course! Hop aboard! <laughs> Lifeboats rescue people when they get into trouble at sea. Ooh. You wouldn't believe the number of people who set sail without a moment's thought. Yes, all they had to do was follow a couple of simple rules. Before setting sail, check the weather. Nice and sunny is good for sailing. And always take a phone in case you need to call for help. Simple rules, but it's amazing how many people don't follow them. And then they have to be rescued by my lifeboat. How does the lifeboat rescue them? Good question, Pepper. First, we ring this bell. <coughs> then I pull this lever and uh, whoosh! The lifeboat shoots down this ramp, making a huge splash to the rescue! Wow! Can I pull the lever now? No, Daddy. The lever can only be pulled in a real rescue. The lifeboat won't be launched today. Oh. Thank you for showing us the lifeboat, Grabby Rabbit. You're most welcome. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. <laughs> All that talk of sailing makes me wish I could set sail again. But, Dad, you're staying at home now. Oh, yes. That's right. I promise to never set sail ever, ever, ever again. Hmm. I fancy a bit of cheese. Grampy Rabbit likes cheese. Oh! There is no cheese in the fridge. No problem. i just get some more. This is Madam Cow's cheese shop. It is on a little rock out at sea. Hello. Hello there. Uh, do you by any chance have any cheese? Of course. This is a cheese shop. We have lots and lots of cheese. Goodbye. Good. They've got cheese. Oh, but what if they sell all the cheese before I get over there? I'd better hurry! Oh dear. Grumpy Rabbit has set sail without his phone. And he has set sail without checking the weather. Oh, the motor seems to be broken. Maybe I should have checked the weather. Grampy Rabbit is out at sea, all on his own. And I don't seem to have my phone. How can I call for help? I suppose I could try my voice. That's quite loud. Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. It's Grumpy Rabbit. He needs rescuing. Quick, back to the lifeboat. All aboard the lifeboat! Aye, Captain Dog! Peppa, ring the bell! <laughs> Wait! I said I would never sail again! But Grumpy Rabbit needs rescuing! You're right! Danny, pull the lever! This is brilliant! The lifeboat goes very fast! <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit! You saved me! Uh, would you mind if we carried on over to the cheese shop? Hello. Uh, one piece of cheese, please. Of course. What took you so long? Uh, I got into a bit of trouble on the sea. And we rescued Grumpy Rabbit. Yes, you did a fine job. Uh, and the good thing is that now you have seen exactly how the lifeboat works. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit loves the lifeboat. Everybody loves the lifeboat. Undersea Park.
party. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, keep calm, don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. Wow! <gasps> you did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! Happy <laughs> birthday, Goldie! <laughs> Hi, Peppa. This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak! But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Yeah. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right! <laughs> Here's the whale! The biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish. It's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <laughs> OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday! <coughs> Happy birthday, Goldie! Goldie loves undersea parties. Everybody loves undersea parties. The tractor. Pepper and George are visiting Mrs. Badger's farm. Pepper, George. Can you guess what you'll see at the farm today? Dinosaur! <laughs> no, George, there won't be a dinosaur, but there will be a tractor. What's a tractor? They're like cars with big wheels and they can drive through mud. I love tractors. It is a traffic jam. 
Come on, get a move on. Beeping won't make the cars go any faster, Daddy Pig. We just have to be patient. Oh, what's blocking the road? Mrs Badger is driving her tractor. Thank you for your patience. Hi there, Mrs Badger. <laughs> We were just talking about tractors. Pepper and George have come to see your farm. Oh, good. Follow me. Here is the farm. Danny Dog, Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are visiting too. We'll pick you up later. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello there, my lovelies. Hello, Mrs Badger. No, before I show you the farm, I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, 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 wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels and a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! <laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour! It's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No! Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig. We just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut. <laughs> no traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. Oh, I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. Hold tight. Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. Oh, yes. Thank you, tractor. Tractors are the best. Pepper loves tractors. Everybody loves tractors. Woodland Club. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Woodland Club. Mr Wolf is in charge. Children, please come to the middle. Mummies and daddies, please stand back and watch. <laughs> now, children, I know all about living in the woods. I was born in the woods and I was raised by a family of wolves. Ooh. Today, I will teach you how to look after yourselves out here in the wild. Wow! Imagine you're on your own, far from home, no one else around. Oh, sorry. Carry on. No one else around. What do you do if it starts to rain? Get wet. Ah, but what if you don't want to get wet? Go home. But remember, you are far from home. I've got an umbrella. Y yes, all right. But sometimes the only thing to keep you warm and dry in the woods 
is a shelter. Ooh. It's like a little house. It'll keep out the rain. And it will keep you warm from the wind. You make a shelter using sticks and other stuff found in the woods. Wow! Who wants to try? Me! me, me. Off you go, then. <laughs> Here are some sticks. <laughs> this leaf can be the flag. It's finished. Well done. OK, who would like to test the shelter? I will. Are you warm and cosy in there, Mr Pig? Oh, oh, yes! I like my little house of sticks. Good. Let's see if your little house keeps out the rain. Ah! The water goes straight through the roof. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Did the house keep out the rain? No! Let's see if the house keeps out the wind. I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. <gasps> Whoa! Daddy Pig's house is gone. Oh, dear. Maybe the children should have used bricks. A brick house would be good, Mr Pig. But there aren't any bricks to be found in the woods. Only sticks and leaves. But we've tried sticks and leaves. We're going to have another go. First, collect big sticks, like this one. Off you go. <laughs> Here's a big stick. Here's a big stick. Here's the biggest stick in the world. Very good. Let's have that big stick here. Lay your sticks along here. Now we need little sticks to go over the roof. <laughs> little sticks. Teeny sticks. Itsy witsy ickle sticks. Use the little sticks like this. <laughs> Is it finished? Nearly. We just need lots and lots of leaves. Leaves! <laughs> lots of leaves! Loads of leaves! Bundles and jumbles of leaves! <laughs> <laughs> wow! It's a cosy house now! It certainly is. Daddy Pig, please go inside. Um, maybe somebody else should have all the fun of testing it this time. Me! <laughs> Are you ready, children? Yes! First, the rain. Is the rain coming in? No! <laughs> now the wind. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Did you feel the wind? No! The little house is very strong. So that, children, is how you build a shelter in the woods. Hooray! Oh, it's raining. All the grown-ups are getting wet. But Pepper and her friends are lovely and dry in their little house. This is fun! Pepper loves the Woodland Club. Everybody loves the Woodland Club. <laughs> <laughs>